What's good, R&B squad? This is Heart of Ruth. I trust that this message meets you guys in good spirits. If you're new here, welcome. We don't believe that you're here by accident. We're happy to have you, and Jesus is even happier. This is a very heavy word, and it's also a very specific word. It's not going to be for everyone. So as you listen, you'll know if this word is for you, okay? This word is for someone who has been antagonized repeatedly by a counterfeit, okay? And the way the Lord showed it to me, this counterfeit does not understand that three is a crowd, okay? The Lord has been showing this counterfeit through their circumstances that they don't need to be anywhere near your person anymore, that they don't need to be anywhere near you or your person anymore, but they just haven't been listening. Now, the way the Lord explained it to me, there have been a series of situations and circumstances that have been occurring that have literally been forcing and leaving no room for the counterfeit in your person's life. It's been forcing these circumstances and these situations, they've been forcing the counterfeit out of your person's life, okay? And what the counterfeit did when they saw these things happening is that they tried to manufacture and create their own circumstances to counteract what was happening. But the more they did it, the more it blew up in their face. And they kept seeing these reoccurring and newly occurring circumstances that were practically, literally forcing them out of your person's life. And that was God's way of letting them know by speaking to them through their circumstances that their time was up. This was God's way of letting them know that, hey, you don't need to be here. This was never your promise. You need to leave these two people alone. I ordained for the two of them to be together. You need to leave. But they were defiant even in the face of the truth, okay? The way the Lord showed it to me, this counterfeit jealousy of you has driven them to the point of insanity. They're not playing with a full deck at the moment. See, anyone in their right mind would know that they were doing too much. But this person is so far gone mentally that they've come to a point where they're just finding ways to justify their actions. This person is on a high horse, but the Lord is saying, Psalm 33, verse 17, A horse is a vain hope for safety. Neither shall it deliver any by its great strength. The Lord is saying that even though they think that they have the power For some reason, they think that they have the power to continuously come between you and your person and hold off your union indefinitely. The Lord is saying they've been foolish to think so. They never had that kind of power. They never had that kind of authority. The Lord is saying that even Satan has to ask permission before he interferes. So who do they think they are? Who does this counterfeit think they are to think that they have the power to hold off your union indefinitely. They don't have that kind of power, okay? And the Lord shared something with me that is going to be very detailed and very specific, so you're going to know that this is for you, okay? What this counterfeit did was that they tapped your person's phone line. So your person has this phone line, and they tapped the phone line, and it may have been more than one phone that they tapped into. And the purpose for tapping this phone line was so that they could listen in on the private conversations that were happening between you and your person. So that's what they were doing. They tapped these phone lines and they were listening to these conversations that were happening between you and your person. And then they would take information that they got from those conversations and they would send that information, bits and pieces of that information in the form of messages to your person. And they were sending these messages posing as somebody else. They were posing either as a law enforcement official or as some random person who has all of this information about the two of you. And their purpose for doing it was to try to scare your person or is to try to scare your person, to try to intimidate your person so that your person will pull away from you or so that the two of you will get scared or nervous and pull away from each other because you think you're being watched. That was the motive behind it, okay? And the Lord is saying that it is this person's jealousy of the love that your person has for you that is causing them to do this craziness, okay? 
But the Lord is saying that despite whatever they try to do, despite their best efforts, this union, this thing is established by God himself. This union has God's hand protecting it. Okay, and he took me to Psalm 91, verse 7, and it reads, A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. This person's best efforts, and they put forth their best effort, trust me, their best efforts are not going to touch your union because it has been established by God. And the Lord also took me to Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 11, and that reads, Furthermore, if two lie down together, they keep warm. But how can one be warm alone? You are both God-fearing, and this is why the Lord blessed you with each other. And because you're both praying for your union, God is honoring your prayers and fighting for you both. Okay? The Lord also took me to Exodus chapter 22 verse 6 and that reads, If a fire breaks out and spreads into thorn bushes so that it burns shocks of grain or standing grain or the whole field, the one who started the fire must make restitution. Okay? All of the confusion that this person has tried to stir up, they will surely beyond a shadow of a doubt, have to make restitution for every bit of it. And the Lord is saying that you're going to receive confirmation that these things are happening because your person is going to come forward and show these messages to you. These messages that they've been receiving from their ex, from their, their counterfeit ex, and their counterfeit ex has been posing as this person from law enforcement or posing as this random person who just has all of this information. They're going to come forward and show this information to you. Okay. And the Lord is saying jail time. Remember the word that the Lord gave to us the other day about the wicked getting caught for things they thought they got away with. If this person does not stop and they continue to try to intimidate your person by sending these messages to them, by tapping into their phone and listening to their private conversation, they'll be caught red-handed performing these illegal activities and will have to face jail time, okay? The Lord also took me to Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after that, is the judgment, okay? The Lord literally said to me, tell them to prepare for their burial, okay? Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. Because this person refuses to stop trying to cause harm to you and your person, they are literally about to die. And I only can say it the way the Lord said it to me. He also highlighted that this person will not have had a chance to repent because of their own stubbornness. So they will die in their sins, unforgiven, and then they will have to face even further judgment. So it is utterly over for this person. For whoever this word is for, I hope it brought some enlightenment. And I will be back with another word as soon as the Lord releases me. Take care.